every new exhibition is a, a big challenge. This body of work includes work that's completely different to anything that I've done in the past. I've used pretty much anything that I had laying around in the studio. Pencils, charcoals, oil pastels, acrylic paints, uh, oil paints, uh, all sorts of varnishes and washes and mediums. I draw my inspiration from, from everyday life, you know, um, from getting up in the morning and having a cup of tea, checking my emails, spending time with my son and friends. People are the driving force behind my art and um, probably inspire a lot of my works. My painting is affected by my mood. One day I could be, I don't know, on top of the world or feeling a bit silly and that reflects in my painting style. And the next day, if say I'm a bit cranky, I got up off the wrong side of the bed, my painting will reflect that and I'll have, you know, angry strokes. So by working in layers and by working with a lot of paintings simultaneously, that will reflect across the canvas instead of, oh yeah, that's her happy painting, that's her sad painting, that's her angry painting. I chose the, the name monobrow for the exhibition because I was thinking about uh, highbrow art, lowbrow art, and thinking about how my art fit into it. I've always had a bit of a problem with highbrow art and lowbrow art because I don't see a distinction between the two. Um, it's in capital A and lowercase a art. I think to me they're both the same thing. They belong in the same basket. By calling the exhibition monobrow, I was sort of taking the piss of the whole concept. I wanted to include a digital part into my exhibition by having a Twitter project, a Twitter feed, which um, anybody from around the world can participate in. It's my belief that if people are actively participating in the artwork, um, then they'll have a deeper connection with it. When I put something down on the canvas, it takes me in a direction that I didn't anticipate going to, so I just follow that. With this body of work, I have so many instances where I laid down the paint on the canvas and thought, this is really cool. And since I work with layers and I work with all of the paintings at the same time, when I find something new, I want to take it to the other canvases that I'm working on at the same time. Working in a regional area is a lot different than working in a city. I think that um, in a city, it's easier to get overstimulated uh, with sensory overload, you're more likely to get inspired by pop culture because there's so much of it in the city. Whereas in the country, you have a bit more time to reflect because there's more space, more space physically and more space mentally. I think that a lot of people confuse inspiration with motivation. Somehow they think that artists just get inspired and ideas just float out of their ass, but really artwork is work. So a lot of my motivation comes from working in itself. If I'm in the studio, if I'm in there every day, that inspires me. 